Hello and welcome back to Rev Mode Plays Elite Dangerous. Here we are at Midgley Dock in the Arth system where we ended up at the end of our last video when we uh, when I tried out the uh, SRV down on the planet driving around in it. I have to admit it was okay it seemed a bit fiddly driving around might, that might be just because I'm using mouse and keyboard and that might have made it a bit fiddly that seemed right we tried a bit of combat as well where I got my ass handed to me by a uh, station and couldn't really work out what I was supposed to be doing so it was okay but I didn't find a great deal of enjoyment I'm not gonna I have to admit I'm not gonna be rushing back to go back to do ground combat missions I might try out some of the other types of missions like the uh, resource gathering and whatnot on the ground but on the plus point we did when coming up to Midgley Dock we did trade in my uh, trusty old Cobra Rat 4 and we're now in a keelback which is basically a more combat orientated uh, well, I wouldn't say combat orientated, maybe that's a bit strong. A more combat capable Type 6 transport. It's uh, got a couple more uh, hard point mounts on it so you can uh, strap a few more weapons to it. Which seems to be, to my mind, it seems to be an ideal ship for the uh, sort of things that I do, which is taking the missions off the bullet, the delivery missions off the bulletin board where you occasionally have a bit of combat thrown in. So, talking of which, let's get onto the bulletin board and see what missions they've got for us today. So not a lot by the looks of it, so it looks like this 14,000 is the best one we're going to get. Now it's going back to Kaka again, the Kaka system. So we will accept that one. And take a new kill back out for its first run. So let's get into navigation. So the Kaka system. Looks like a straight jump there, yep. Check to make sure we've got the cargo on board and everything's set up. Yeah, there's the titanium, got fire groups set up. Yeah, modules got plenty of power. Oh, I gotta go. I must have, have I gone up in a ranking explorer 2% of trailblazer. I have to admit, I didn't notice that if I did. All right, so everything's sorted. Let's get on his way and uh, see what this new ship's like. And so we have been in a Type 6 before, but... This keelback's supposed to be new and improved. Just try to uh, see if I could thrust down. I, mean, so I did thrust down yesterday, because obviously, uh, yesterday, last video, because I uh, managed to land on that planet, and you have to be able to do it, but it doesn't seem to want to do it again there. Mm. Very strange. out of the slot and there's where we need to be lined up with jump out of it scanned. Yeah, being scanned. 
I've got no lucky cargo on anyway, but hopefully we'll be out of here before the scan's finished. Let's see if we can get the right one. There we go. That's what we want. I don't think I fitted a fuel scoop on this thing last time. Right, where are we supposed to be going to? Koreshi Enterprise. There it is. around the old cabin that's a shame is that you've lost you have been able to look down through those nice bottom windows there because your SRV panel keeps popping up Okay, safe to disengage. This is where I found out I forgot to put a docking computer on this thing. I'm sure I put a docking computer on this thing. Yeah, hit the right button, shall we? Just for the fun of it. Put a dog in computer on this thing. Seems to fly all right. Does this thing? The uh, docking computer can still throw it around. So, Ok, 
computer's still overshooting the landing uh, pads and having to fly backwards to get onto them, but it's been doing that for a while now. Alright, any map data to sell? No. So, let's offload the cargo. on the repairs, yeah, everything's okay. Checking the contacts. Alright, so back into the bulletin board and see what we've got this time. And above and beyond, we've got 37,000. Ooh, secret cargo run, but that's a non scanny one, isn't it? Uh, the room we can get in, like I say, it's a bit of a lottery whether you get scanned or not, isn't it? So no, I think we'll stay away from that. We'll just go with this 37,001 to the Luft system. Jumps this time by the looks of it. Yep. Right. Check to make sure I've got yeah, got the cobalt on. Let's get on his way. And uh, get another cargo run done. be uh, down the front end of the station again which is never a favourite best as I could. Thank you. 
NPCs talking to us. Hopefully that's all he's going to do. talking to us and this one sounds slightly less friendly so where am I supposed to be going to? Cavendish Ring Slow down in time for it now, we're gonna fly past. There we go. contact buzzing around okay so we can drop back in a normal space Well, I might have got interdicted there with that uh, second contact, but we, uh, like I say, we was right on top of the station, so they didn't have long to uh, to do it. Scan detected. Is Watkins is still following me around. He's brave man to attack me now. Data to sell. No, nope, still haven't come far enough to sell any map data. Now let's offload the cargo. Alright, 
right, refuel. All right, check the contacts. Everything's okay in there. Quick look in the shipyard. Although I think I'll be keeping this ship for a while. I quite like this ship. which is a ship that I do like I think I uh, so, right, so let's go into the outfit and see if we can get any better uh, equipment on this thing because it's pretty stock at the minute no, we can't afford any better bulkheads Better than an E4 power plant. No, nope, they haven't even got any class. Well, they've got a C4 or a B4, which you can't afford. And an A4, which I definitely can't afford. Thrusters. Nope. Frame shift drive. Nope. The class 4 they can't afford, right, the life support. Yeah, B1. I definitely do want the best, you definitely do need the best life support, as I've found out, because when your canopy gets blown out, you need as much oxygen as you can get. So, power distribution. You can have a C3. Sensors B2, so we'll have them. A couple larger cargo racks, but uh, shield generator be uh, nicer first, so I've got an E3 in there at the minute. C3, which is compelled. We've got an E3 at the minute, we can have a C3. Yeah, yeah we'll have that, I think. That doesn't leave us with much money. Let's come out of there. Said we'd need power management. Let's have a look at the modules. I think it says it's okay. Let's look up. We're only using 94%, still got another 6%. Well, pip sorted out. Right, let's get into the bulletin board and see if we can pick up another mission. Slim pickings on this one. Right, 62,000 looks like the best one. So take in to the Shepherd's Gateway port in the Aronaga system. Okay. Taking food carriages. Arrow Naga system. Straight jump there by the looks of it. No, oh, not two jumps. So, right, I've got the cargo on board. Yep.
So I would like another. Uh, oh, so I would like a fuel scoop on board, but I think it means giving up a cargo rack. So I think it's more important to buy larger cargo racks first before I uh, look at getting a uh, fuel scoop. a bit high which is a problem when I can't thrust back down again to fly into the station would be a really good idea. So jump into the Yaronago system, which is a destination system. Drive I've got the advanced discovery scanner and the detailed surface scanner as well, so hopefully we can find the station that we're looking for if we don't already know where it is. So we are looking for Shepherd's Gateway. There it is. And we are being interdicted. Clipper, incompetent. Scan detected. Just scanning us at the minute. Oh, thanks, Bob. Not even worth your time. Okay.
So there's an NPC. That's the first time I've ever had an NPC just uh, tell me he's not going to pull me out and then tell me he's not going to bother taking me on. My impressive keel back scared him off. Yeah, because if it was a PC, if it was a player, it would say Commander. So that's an NPC. That's pulled me out and then scanned me and decided he didn't want to bother with uh, my cargo. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Power management reset to uh, normal cruising mode. First time I'll be taking this keel back in for a planetary landing. So hopefully everything will go right. I'll we'll see how we get on. Hopefully it won't be a multiple G planet that I'm trying to land on. Because I, uh, well, the only ship I've ever lost during planetary landing was on a on a two G two uh, G planet. And I don't want to. Uh, cream this into a planet surface just yet because I might have a bit of difficulty replacing it. Just at the minute till I build some uh, credits back up again.
a bit of flying to get out to this place. It's a good way to keep reminding yourself just how big space is. It's a wedding. pretty the way the planets appear in there mm. looks like we're going to be landing on the dark side of the planet completely forgotten which button it is that turns my lights on. Cruise around. One point two G on this planet, so should be okay. He says famous last words. Point at the target, get the altitude dropping a bit faster. Should be dropping out of orbital cruise soon and going into glide. He says. Go 
down. There we go. down to zero, level ourselves off, let's get speed right down, oh, we seem to be going backwards now for some reason, there we go, so Point your nose straight down like that. Oof. Uh, what happened there, ship? Okay then, so. That's a thing. The auto dock seems to have uh, got stuck on the side of a building. Cancel docking then. Nope, my thrusters seem to have stopped working. <laughs> right then, so how on earth do I get out of this? So, where on earth am I now?
Right, let's see if the uh, docking computer can sort this problem out. Nope. Right, we now seem to be upside down. I have no idea what on earth it's doing now. Seem to be going down on something now. Okay. <laughs> That's us down eventually. Let's get in the hangar. map data to sell yeah we travelled oh yes we have managed to travel over 20 light years hmm. sell that right, let's get into the bulletin board let's drop off this cargo let's refuel don't need anything restocked now. Repairs, might have a bit of repairs to do now. Managed to get away without any damage on that one there. No contacts. Right, and after that uh, interesting little landing there, I think we'll uh, call it a day for this video. So once again, thank you for joining me on my exploration of the Elite Dangerous Universe. And I hope you'll join me again next time when Rev Modes plays Elite Dangerous.